Right, I am here for the ceremonial unboxing of the Good Omens vinyl record set. I can't wait for this, and I've brought my Crowley shades in order to do this justice. Of course, this means I won't be able to tell whether the color palette is appealing at all, but I'll just do my best. Now, what I have got here is a foreign army knife, no advertising here in BBC Television Center, and I have got a fully sealed, I have not opened this yet, I have not seen what this is like, so I'm now going to, hopefully without, well, I'll try and do it the right way around, hopefully without cutting myself, open up this piece of work, and let's see what we've ended up with here. Put that safely away, children. And let's have a look. I'm afraid Neil couldn't come, so I'm here in loco parentis, which means as a crazy parent. Oh, my goodness. This is bulletproof, bulletproof. And we have, oh, we have more packaging, excuse me. I'll just grab the, oh, that won't do it. That's for taking stones out of a horse's hoof. I've gone completely mad here. I'm now going to find the correct thing. Oh, it'll do. It'll do. The horses won't mind. And this is very, I'm sure you'll be able to talk amongst yourselves. And here we are. This is it. Oh, that is lovely. Right. Now, what we have here is yet another beautiful example of demons astonishing artwork on covers. It's a, I'm saying it's a solid piece of work. It actually is the weight of a small Bentley, a 1924 Bentley, I think that's the weight of. Let me move the packaging away so that I can actually get to the meat of this. So here we have this beautifully uh, beautifully put together. Now, I'm going to open this. I, I hate to do it because I always feel bad about whoever compiled that bit down there, the sticky bit, but I'm going to do it because, let's face it, the good stuff's inside. But yet again, a triumph of packaging. This is a real Christmas present opening job I'm doing here. Oh, there we go. Lovely. Oh, this is... It's very tactile. It's got a lovely, silky feel to it. So it's the good opens and we have, oh, and look, oh, some, some absolute vandal has graffitied, what's the signature, Neil Gaiman, whoever he is, has signed that piece of paper in here. You just can't keep anything nice, can you? And here is the absolutely, oh my goodness, the thing about this is everything's thought through. It's got the artwork, it's got the fonts, it's got Neil looking suitably whiz, wise and all-knowing. And it's got a forward by Neil, which is terrific, because Neil and Terry, of course, take part in this. And then it's got this brilliant artwork, and this is what I love. I love when the our audio efforts are accompanied by artwork rather than photos because artwork does something it adds to the sort of feel the texture of the piece here we have a chap called Dirk Mags writing about the end of times he seems to have something to do with it um, also in here somewhere should be Heather Lama the wonderful producer and with me director of the piece Heather of whom sainted memory uh, we did so many wonderful productions but this is one of our proudest ones and here is Neil and myself and Terry at Terry's this was one of our last visits to Terry um, and in fact Terry was very good that day and we recorded him in in the in the car being a policeman with Neil uh, all of these backstage pictures but look at the quality of this artwork it's absolutely delightful and it's it really says everything that needs to be said about what's in the recording. So here we have the, the, the pair of baby's cots, one of which has got a little devil's tail hanging out. This is absolutely wonderful. And then we come to the actual packaging. And here are the, the them, looking suitably gangish. Or is this the four horsemen? I'm not quite sure. I think it's the them. It's the them, because they've got backpacks on. This is the thing about wearing Crowley shades when you're trying to unpack something. I can't actually see what I'm talking about. So beautiful, the prophecies of Agnes, nice and accurate prophecies of Agnes Nutter. Uh, we have the uh, 
well, the four horsemen. Uh, um, we have all four of them in the audio version. And, um, and a beautiful end paper, as it were. And I'm just going to get one of the discs out now. Now, this is for two reasons. First of all, to show you how wonderful it is. But secondly, for anyone who hasn't been raised on vinyl, I will now show you the BBC-approved way of handling vinyl discs. But let me just, first of all, show you that all of these discs are beautifully presented. And here we go with the disc. The trick is not to put your fingers on the playing surface. So if you get your hand in, I'll show you. Oh my goodness, look at that. That is wonderful. See how to hold it? But yeah, that looks like the last disc in the set. Oh, that's got a wonderful engraving on it. So this is how the first uh, three discs will look. And then the last disc, because um, the series doesn't run to the final side, has got, I don't know if I can catch the light with that, but it's a wonderful demonic baby engraving on it. What a fantastic piece of work. The thought that goes into these is astonishing. And I can promise you, it is the equal of the loving care with which Neil and Heather and myself and the cast, including Peter and Mark and everyone else, uh, put into making it. So uh, I can, I can not only enthusiastically vouch for this um, as an audio program, I can also tell you, you will never buy a more beautifully packaged or pressed piece of vinyl in your life, no matter whether you end up in heaven or in hell. I forgot something. I forgot the most important part. Crowley specs back on in the back of the packaging. Tarot cards, good omens, tarot cards. Good omens, tarot cards. How cool is this? What you do is you can separate them. They're on perforated cards. So you can separate them and then you can figure out your own good omens tarot game. But how cool is this? They're all specially designed by the fantastic team here at Demon. Um, and you can invent your own games. It'd be like Magic the Gathering, but with angels and demons. Anyway, no, I, I shouldn't have said that. It'll be something wonderful that you can make up yourself. Just, if you get deaf, make sure you speak in capital letters. So anyway, tarot cards, back of the packaging. Don't miss it. It's like, it's like Sergeant Pepper, but, but with more acting on it. So there we go. Good omen. Get it while you can.